I've always thought cranberries were one of those underappreciated fruits, only show up on the Thanksgiving table in a gloppy little sauce, and no one eats it, but they sure decorate the table. Well, I love cranberries, and I want everyone else to enjoy them too. So even though you may not like to eat cranberry sauce, there are other ways that you can enjoy cranberries, and I'll show you a couple of them right now. I already cooked up one bag of cranberries. It's about three cups of fresh cranberries, whole cranberries. I put them in a sauce pot with two cups of sugar, five cinnamon sticks, and half cup water. And then I just cooked it. It didn't take very long for the cranberries to get nice and soft. And it smells wonderful, a little bit like cinnamon and a little bit sweet. Now, I'm draining the juice from the cooked cranberries because I'm going to use that in a very special way. But first, let me transfer these cooked cranberries to a bowl because I'm not going to let these go to waste. So I'll take out my five cinnamon sticks before I put them into the bowl. Just set that aside for a minute because I wanna talk about this juice. Beautiful red holiday color and very tasty too because it's a little bit sweet, a little bit tart, and it's got that hint of cinnamon in it. So. I'm going to store this in my refrigerator, just in a jar, and I'm going to use it as the base for a very refreshing non-alcoholic drink. Now this is still warm, so it's going to make my ice cubes melt, but I'll measure, oh, probably for eight ounces of water, about three or four tablespoons of this cranberry juice concentrate. And then some sparkling water. It makes it nice and fizzy. Look at that beautiful color. Then just stir it up a little bit. I've garnished it with a fresh wedge of orange and maybe just float a few cranberries on the top. It's beautiful and it's refreshing and very flavorful. Now, for the cranberry pulp, you can see that it's just a nice thick consistency. Let me move this over a little bit. I'm going to add just about a teaspoon of my favorite hot sauce and a little bit of grated ginger. And then I'm going to spoon it over some cream cheese. This also makes a nice relish to serve with your Thanksgiving turkey too. Have a wonderful holiday weekend. I'll have the recipes posted on our website. I'm Sue Doden and I'm all about food.